adventurous British have once more conceived plans against France. Pulling Austria and Russia into a coalition, Austrian armies have amassed in Bavaria and Italy, with Russian forces already marching to their aid, whilst the Royal Navy prevents the free movement of French shipping along every coastline. Their Admiral Nelson is not to be underestimated. Prussia, so far, has stayed out of the coalition, but they will not raise arms to assist us, and the revolution must eventually be taken to them. Occupied Württemberg and Bavaria cry out for our help, and French troops stand ready to enter German-speaking lands to oppose the combined might of the Austrian and Russian armies. Conquest of Vienna and Moscow should be our main objectives, unless the meddling of other powers bids our intervention in other areas. Napoleon has shown no respect for the sovereignty of the independent Italian states and is now directly threatening the Habsburg-controlled Italian dominions. Together with Great Britain and Russia, Austria must deal with the little would-be emperor before he brings all Europe under his yoke. While the Royal Navy protects the seas and limits French trade capabilities, Austrian forces must march on treacherous Bavaria and Württemberg and remind them of their loyalties to the Holy Roman Empire. Meanwhile, Russian forces are mobilized and will march west to support you. At the same time, to the north, Prussia grows stronger every day. As they have remained neutral, you cannot know for sure what they plan to do and must be prepared for any eventuality. Prussia currently holds Silesia, a former Austrian possession, and they may be planning to bring other German-speaking territories under their control. Napoleon and his godless revolutionaries have no respect for the status quo. They insist on meddling with the balance of power on mainland Europe. Defenseless Liguria has been annexed by France, and such behavior cannot be tolerated. As a result, Great Britain has joined forces with Austria and Russia to oppose French continental ambitions. Sweden, Portugal, and the smaller Italian states have vowed to aid the struggle, but the three great powers must take most of the strain in opposing this monstrous revolutionary threat. Whilst Austria and Russia attempt to deal with Napoleon on the fields of Bavaria, you must ensure that his navy is kept in check. Admiral Villeneuve's fleet must be intercepted by the Royal Navy, lest the armies of France march on British shores. Then, inshore blockades are maintained across all French ports. Finally, your long-standing ally Portugal must be aided in pushing through into occupied Spain, opening a second front and splitting the might of Napoleon's armies. The seemingly unstoppable armies of Napoleon are a great threat to all Europe. But for now, Prussia should keep their own counsel. Britain, Austria, and Russia have requested you join the war effort against Napoleon. But for now, the king prefers to observe the progress of the conflict from afar before acting decisively one way or the other as German states may be under threat from both France and Austria. As the leading German nation, it is up to Prussia to protect the sovereignty of those states. Perhaps it would be better to annex them yourself to guarantee their independence from French imperialism. The best strategy is to build your armies up to full strength whilst France and Austria fight it out, then ally with the power who best serves Prussian interests. All the while, the Russian bear looms in the east, eager to sweep the German-speaking parts of Poland into its mighty paw. Whatever happens next, delaying for too long will result in the destruction of Prussian possessions across its rightful homelands, something that must not be allowed to happen. Paris is far from Moscow. But you cannot ignore what is happening in Europe and leave your allies to face the criminal revolutionary threat alone. Austria and Great Britain need Russian assistance to defeat Napoleon, who now styles himself Emperor. Whilst you march west and the Royal Navy protects the ocean, 
Austria is ready to strike against the French in Bavaria, so hopefully the Imperial forces can hold them off until your great armies can rendezvous. Meanwhile, the Prussians have not joined your coalition, so their eastern territories could be absorbed to ensure they do not become a threat to you. Ultimately, Russia will surely endure, as not even a madman like Napoleon would dare attack you on your own soil. Or would he?